Welcome to Backcountry TV. I'm your host, Micah Black. The mountain fortress known as the Selkirk Range is home to some of the best and deepest powder on earth. Skiers and snowboarders regularly make the pilgrimage to the Snowcat and Heli Ski Mecca. Come hang with us as skiing legend Scott Schmidt and I ski British Columbia, the jewel of Western Canada. In the late 1800s, British Columbia was separated from the rest of Canada, not by the Front Range Rockies, but by the massive Selkirk Range. 400 miles wide and 800 miles north to south, the Selkirks were almost responsible for British Columbia seceding from Canada and joining the United States of America. In 1882, explorer A.B. Rogers finally discovered the route through the Selkirks. It would become known as Rogers Pass. The railroad would soon follow. But the pass was no cakewalk. Rogers Pass received over 50 feet of snow a year, making it prone to horrific avalanches. One avalanche in 1910 killed 62 railway workers. That same snow attracts skiers and snowboarders from around the world for some of the best backcountry and inbound terrain anywhere. But that pleasure is always haunted by the hidden specter of avalanche. Welcome to the summit of Rogers Pass. As you can see in the background, there's big, big country. Uh, this place is renowned for backcountry skiing. Uh, as of right now, what we hear from the locals that the avalanche conditions are very high. They're waiting for the mountain to come down. So there's nobody really out there right now. So Mother Nature's getting ready to do her thing. and The mountain's gonna come down here at some point, but uh, hopefully not tonight. But anyway, it's beautiful, huge mountains. Rogers Pass. From Rogers Pass, we follow the train and descend into the town of Revelstoke, an old mining and logging town that was born when the railroad finally broke through the Selkirk Range. Revelstoke, with a population of approximately 8,000 people, is home to the burgeoning Revelstoke Mountain Resort, which claims to have some of the largest vertical in North America, as well as numerous heli-ski operations. All right, I'm Micah Black, and I'm here with Rod Kessler. Uh, he is the Chief Operating Officer here at Revelstoke Mountain Resort. This small area down here was, was a, uh, an older ski facility, Powder Springs, and so it had about 800 feet of vertical. So they were skiing 800 ver uh, feet of vertical, and then we added these two pieces here. So we're now sitting about 4,700 feet of vertical today. Sing, 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 sing. It's a heli mecca of Canada, arguably the world. Uh, we've got uh, Selkirk Tangiers, which is part of our Revelstoke Mountain uh, Resort family. Um, Canadian Mountain Holidays, we've got MICA, we've got Eagle Creek. Um, there's a lot of heli organizations that are based out of Revelstoke, so we have a real pioneering, outdoor, adventurous community. Just finished up our first day here at Revelstoke. Really impressed with the amount of vertical and the terrain. There's a lot of neat things to explore up there. After a nice day like this in a new ski area that you haven't skied before, it's time to get a cool one. All right, we're here at the Region Inn. It's like the top little opera spot here in Revelstoke. And this is where we go in and have a little cool one. We're at the top of beautiful Revelstoke Mountain Resort. After a half hour hike, we're right at the top of this weather station. And we can see the whole valley and everything, so loving life here in Canada. Totally stoked to Revelstoke.
When we come back, we hit the road and head south from Revelstoke to another skiing sanctuary in the Kootenai Mountains, Nelson, B.C.